Hey guys, I figured I'd give you a quick little update on the first of three boards. Uh, the recapping process is nearly complete. I still have one more left to go here. Um, basically, what I did was I removed the solder blob that was in there. And the shorter blob that was up here is also gone. Okay. The CCD imaging sensor is starting to act up again, but let's hopefully I can get this through. Um, basically, the problem we had up here is the vias were completely broke through okay so here's how you repair a via you take a piece of thin 30 gauge wire and then you, you strip the wire back and carefully using a temperature controlled soldering iron you thread the wire while heating the via down into the via okay and the wire will come out the other side just make sure you leave a piece of wire on both sides and then that will allow you to flow the solder all the way through the via most of the time and then that's what I had to do here so basically what I ended up doing was putting a new wire here and I reinforced it same thing here and I reinforced it this connected my 12 volts back to up here the PDS slot and over at the audio output chip so that's reconnected now. Everything over here is reconnected now. Okay. Um, there's still one more I got to do. Is actually no, I already did it. This there's another via right here. I had to run all the way through to the other side. And actually, you can barely tell, but I put the 30 gauge wire all the way through it. So that's that's it. So now all I got to do is solder the one microfarad cap here. And then since this trace is gone, solder a piece of wire from here over to pin 7. And then this board will be complete and will be ready for the first power up. Thank you for watching. Howdy everybody in YouTube land. Um, I finally got the board complete. Completely recapped. Um, I didn't have any one microfarad or capacitor so I put a 4.7 in there. That's not going to hurt it. So I went ahead and made the proper connection from there to pin 7 of the Sony DAC uh, double verified all my via through hole connections and all, of, all that stuff like that oh another thing too the reason why I don't want to use tantalum capacitors in place of these because if you look real carefully I'll turn the light on you can see when the old capacitors removed some of the solder mask came up with it. Um, it's probably not coming out real well on camera, but the solder mask came up with it. And the problem is, if you look at a tantalum capacitor, the pads are so wide. So as soon as you go to flow the solder onto the tantalum, what's going to happen is it's going to flow up underneath it and probably bridge the exposed copper solder tracks. And you can fix that with fingernail polish and let it dry then you should be able to use it but that's the reason why I use these capacitors so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and hook up the uh, SE30 board I don't have a tripod I'm sorry so we're gonna hook up the board and hope like hell that it posts okay everything's hooked up so see what we get Huh. Solid white screen. Darn. I wish the first power ups were always great each time, but it's not. Better cut it off before something burns up. Um, I'm going to have to do further troubleshooting, make sure there isn't a chip bad. May even have to break out the all oscilloscope. So, um, let's see what we come up with here. Well, I did some investigating in the schematic. Um, I don't want to show too much of this because it is copyrighted material. Um, the I was going over the PAL chips because what I did was I took some off of this board and switched them in here to see if it made any difference to make sure I didn't have a bad uh, ASIC and it didn't make any difference. So I'm like, well, really? Um, 
I put I did I put these chips in another board. I didn't put the other board's chips in these in case the board were to burn them out or something. So what I did was take a look at um, the schematic and I noticed UE6 is a 16L88. Okay, the one in here is a um, a 16. R8 okay that's not going to work at all that's a completely different chip so what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull this chip out okay I don't have a tripod so pull that chip out and what I want to do is I want to set the camera down I'm going to pull it off of the other one Okay, now, I got this chip. This is the correct chip. It is the correct one on the other one. So I have no idea where that other chip came from. Maybe he stuck it in there not realizing what was going on or what. Then again, it may have been an updated Apple design. Now I gotta set the camera down again. So, we'll go ahead and plug her back in. Ugh. All right. Now let's try it. Hopefully this is it. I really hope it is because I don't feel like pulling out the scope. I really don't. Oh shit. Here we go. It works. <laughs> it worked. That's all it takes is to fix the bad connections and new capacitors. This board is officially alive. Well hang on. I want to make sure I get a blinking disc of doom first. I don't have a boot drive hooked up to this. Yep, we're good. <laughs> we are alive, ladies and gentlemen. This was board number one. Thank you for watching this revival video. We're going to go with board number two next. See where we go with it. I won't be able to fix all three because, well, for some reason, one of the pals is the not the right pal. So I'm going to have to find the right one. So I don't know if you put that in there by mistake or what. But uh, thank you for watching.